Hello everyone, this is Amar Kumar Ram. Welcome back to my channel. In the previous video, we have created and built the data transfer library, which we need to upload over this NPM artifact. Before uploading, we need an account over this website known as npmjs.com. Here, we can click over sign up and provide a username, email address and password. For example, Amar Kumar Ram, my mail ID can be anything. It is an example at the red gmail.com and password can be anything. Then I need to click on agree and need to verify whether you are a human or not. So let's verify it. We need to click on the identical objects. So first one is this. Second one this. Third one is this. Fourth one is this fifth one is this we have completed the verification now we can click on create an account it will tell me that this username already exists because i have already signed up to this website npmjs.com so i'll directly log in to this npmjs.com meanwhile what you can do is you can create your account over here and login with the same credential. After your sign up process, you must have done two factor authentication step. If you are unable to complete your sign up process, then do let me know in the comment section. I'll create a detailed video on how to create account over npmjs.com website. People who have successfully created their account can log into the portal using username and password. After providing username and password, you will land on this page, which will ask for one time password. Let me provide the password and press enter i am now successfully logged in after login you can click over your profile icon and then click on packages as we can see i have zero packages here and now i'll upload the created data transfer package over here which can be installed in any project before that you must enable your two-factor authentication process which you will found over your profile icon drop down after clicking on profile icon you can click on account and then in this section you will get an option called enable 2fa please make sure that you have enabled it and then you are ready to publish your data transfer package now in the vs code you need to run the command npm login to log into your account it will ask you to press enter which will redirect you to this link so let's press enter so it is asking for a one-time password again we will provide the otp after providing otp it says that authentication successful now we'll go to the vs code and it is saying that i am logged in on registry.npmjs.org to verify we can run the command npm who am i and press enter if you have successfully logged in then it will show you your username in my case it is amar kumar Ram. now i will run the command npm publish which will publish my data transfer library. But before running this command, we need to go inside the dist folder and then run this npm publish command so that our dist transfer folder will be published over npm artifact. I'll run the command cd and then dist. Also, we need to go inside the package that is data transfer. Now we can run the command npm publish and press enter. It is asking to authenticate the account. So we'll press enter and provide the OTP. After successful authentication, we can go to the VS code. It is saying that package name too similar to existing package data transfer. So there might be any package which is similar to this name. So we can rename our package name to rename it first of all we'll close all the files and open this package.json file here the name key refers to the package name which will be published over npm artifactory and there is no relation in between this name key value with the project name so we can change this name let's say message transfer and we'll save it after this we need to build the project again and for that i'll open a new terminal and we'll go inside the application that is libapp after this we'll run the command ng build and the package project name which is data transfer in our case not the message transfer so we'll just build data transfer and press enter it has built the package we can see inside the dist folder and in the package.json file the library name is message transfer now let's try to publish this message transfer package over npm artifact to do that we'll go inside the dist folder and data transfer folder and run the command npm publish it will ask for authentication again so 
So after successful authentication, we'll go to the VS Code and check. And as we can see, our first library has been published over NPM Artifactory. And the name of the library is Message Transfer with the version 0.0.1. So let's check over NPM account. We'll go inside the packages. And here we can see that we have one package published that is message transfer with the version 0.0.1. If I click over here, it will give the detailed view of it like how to install in any Angular project. We can install this message transfer by using this command npm i message hyphen transfer. And it has only one version currently, which is 0.0.1. In the next video, we'll see how to use this message transfer package in a project. If you found this video useful, then press the like button and do share with your friends and colleagues. Also, if you are new to my channel, then subscribe and press the bell icon to not miss any notification from this channel. Let's meet in the next video. Till that, be happy. Take care. Signing off.